Hello, I'm Sean Webb, I'm from Ealing in West London, and I read Ancient and Modern History. Science that lived from 1996 to 2003. Corpus Christi Webb. Sheep. Sheep is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on Men in Black. In which cult novel of 1973 does a mysterious man in black defeat, in turn, Inigo Montoya, Fezzik and Vizzini? Uh, yeah, they did, but like, I don't think I'm going to remember it. Do you not know? I don't think we have it. No. I'm afraid we don't know. It's The Princess Bride. Oh. Played initially by Ed Harris, the man in black is a major character in which recent television series developed from a film by Michael Crichton? Like, what, what, they made a film of the Michael Crichton Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park, or have they made a TV series in that, or... Um, I don't I think like it's Park. probably not. We could try it, but probably not. Jurassic Park. The Yarra River meets the sea at Port Phillip Bay near which major city? Uh, the Corpus Christi Webb. Melbourne. Melbourne is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on works in the National Gallery that its website describes as our must-see masterpieces. In each case, name the Italian artist who painted the following. Firstly, Bacchus and Ariadne, commissioned by the Duke of Ferrara and completed in 1523. Titian, I think. It's a Titian. Titian. Nominate Webb. Uh, Titian. It is Titian, you're right. A panel of the Battle of San Romano, dating to about 1440 and noted for its use of linear perspective, oh, secondly. Um, Uccello. 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 Uccello is correct. And finally, Venus and Mars, dating to about 1485. Uh, yeah, possibly try yes, yeah. According to Byron, what human quality is nothing but the paint on the face of existence? The least touch of truth rubs it off. Francis Bacon describes it as a good breakfast but a bad supper. Shakespeare says it flies with swallows' wings. And in his essay on man, Pope says it springs eternal in the human ah. breast. Corpus Christi Webb. Hope. Hope is correct. Corpus, these bonuses are on scientific terms. All three answers begin with the same five letters. What is the six-letter alternative name of C6H5OH, or carbolic acid? I need you to spell your answer. What's that? Ethanol. Possibly. Yeah. You have to spell it. Ethanol? Yeah. I hope you spell it. Oh, E-T-H-A-N. Yeah. E-T-H-A-N. Oh, I'm afraid it's phenol. Oh. Widely used as a pH indicator and as a laxative, what organic compound has the molecular formula C2OH1404? It's starting at the same letters, so like maybe phenophaline? Something like that. Phenophaline? Correct. Richard Dawkins suggested that beavers, dams, spiders, webs, and bowerbird bowers are all examples of extended what? Extended Phenotypes. Phenotypes. Yeah, possibly. Phenotypes? Phenotypes is correct. <laughs> right, your picture starter in this picture round shows, in isolation, a region defined by the UK Office of National Statistics as a travel-to-work area. That is, an area whose boundaries reflect commuting patterns, such that at least two-thirds of the resident population also work within the area. For ten points, name the city marked in red, which is the most populous within the region. Corpus Christi Webb. Warwick. No. The revolution had been designed to preempt a red revolution. Instead, it paved the way for an Islamic revolution. Those words refer to reforms of the 1960s. Uh, in Corpus Christi Webb. Iran. Iran is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these are questions on fictional wolves for your bonuses. Morgrim the Wolf acts as the chief of the secret police for one of the title characters of which children's novel, first published in 1950? Uh, I don't know. One of the title characters, so like, um... Children's book, 1950. Three. What was that? Nominate Cherry. 
The Rats of Nim. No, it's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Mm. Yeah. Secondly, Karcharoth bites off and swallows the hand of the hero Beren in which work published posthumously in 1977? Um, is this like um, some kind of talking thing or something maybe? Or... Oh, well, could it be the Cimmerillion, maybe? Right. Uh, the Cimmerillion. The Silmarillion is correct. That's by Tolkien, of course. And finally, Gillian Anderson voices Morrow the Wolf in the English version of which Studio Ghibli animated fantasy, Japan's highest grossing film of 1997? The Wonder Wolf thing is uh, Princess Mononoke, I think. Nominate Web? Uh, Princess Mononoke. That's correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> What given name links the Polish Jewish lawyer who coined the word genocide, the author of the 1577 Chronicles of England, Scotland and Ireland, and the Renaissance artist whose works include the Madonna of the Pinks and the School of Athens? <laughs> Firstly, for five points, before the American Civil War, what two-word term described the system by which escaped slaves from the South were secretly helped to safety in the North or Canada? Yes. The Underground Railway? The um, Underground Railroad, that's correct, yes. Continuing the analogy, what name was given to those sympathisers who assisted the Underground Railroad fugitives in moving between the stopping places or stations? Could be, I, don't, I don't know, could it be conductors or something? Or, or what? Station uh, masters? Maybe. Con, I don't know, what, what, conductors or maybe? Conductors, conductors, yeah, conductors. Conductors? Conductors is correct. Araminta Ross known as the Moses of her people, became arguably the railroad's most famous conductor. How is she better known? Harriet Tubman, probably. Harriet Tubman. Uh, nominate Webb. Uh, Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman is correct, yes. <laughs> we're going to take a music round now. We're about halfway through. For your music starter, you're going to hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can name the artist. You know where I'm at, you know... The tomb of which Plantagenet king... It became a shrine in the 14th century after his body was moved there from Berkeley Castle, the place of his death. Corpus Christi where? Edward II. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the works of Tennyson. In each case, give the title of the poem in which the following lines appear. The title in each case is the name of a legendary or a mythological figure. First, she knows not what the curse may be, and so she weaveth steadily, and little other care hath she. Probably have the Ashley. No, no, Ariadne, I think her name is something, maybe. Because weaving, because Athena. Yeah. Then, like... I think it's the name of it. Look, what you yeah. think it is. Then. Ariadne? No, it's the Lady of Shalott. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here hath he lain for ages and will lie, battening upon huge sea worms in his sleep until the latter fire shall heat the deep. Hmm. Yeah, I I can't, yeah, I sounds good. I can't, can't remember. I'm afraid we don't know. That's the Kraken. And finally, what name is the title of the poem which ends to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield? Ulysses, isn't it? Sorry? It's Ulysses, isn't it? Yeah. Ulysses? Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what was the first extinct animal to have its DNA studied? The results showed that it was not, as previously thought, a separate species, but was actually a type of zebra. Corpus Christi Simon. Quagga. The quagga is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on a mathematical term. In calculus, what quantity is defined as explicitly non-zero and yet smaller in absolute value than any real quantity? In infinitesimal quantity, or do we have any better ideas? No. Nominate web. In, in infinitesimal. That's correct. Which Irish philosopher discussed infinitesimals in his 1710 treatise concerning the principles of human knowledge? Could be Barclay, maybe. Barclay. Possibly, or do we have better ideas? Barclay? Barclay? It was George Barclay. Infinitesimals played a part in resolutions of the dichotomy and Achilles paradoxes of which ancient Greek thinker born in the city of Elia? Zeno. Zeno. Zeno is correct. Ten points for this. 
What specific word for a dwelling links clay and wattles in Yeats's poem The Lake Isle of Inish Free, Willow in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, and in reference to the life of Abraham Lincoln, log? Corpus Christi Webb. Cabin. Cabin is correct. You get a set of bonuses on the ballerina Margot Fontaine. When she comes bounding in in the birthday scene, you know you're in the presence of magic. These words of a critic for The Times refer to Fontaine as Aurora, the title character of which ballet? Sleeping Beauty. Yes. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Correct. From the 1950s, Fontaine gave outstanding performances in The Firebird by which choreographer born in Russia in 1880? Choreographer. Um, Pet. Well, I mean, strange. Is it Petipa, maybe? Petipa, possibly. Petipa. No, it's Fokine, Michel Fokine. Fontaine's notable partners included the Australian dancer, actor, and choreographer Robert Helpman. Give both the name of the role and the title of the film in which she reached a broader audience in 1968. Any idea? I don't really. Know. No, I don't think I really know. I'm afraid we don't know. It's the child catcher in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, Ten sure. points for this. In June 2019, who became the first British woman since 1983 to play in the semi-final of the French... Well, picture starter, you're going to see a painting. For ten points, please name the artist. Bristol Salmon. Millet. No. Anyone want to buzz from Corpus Christi? Corpus Christi Webb. Burn Jones. No, you're all in the right area. It's actually Rossetti, but uh, we'll have to take the picture bonuses when someone gets a starter question right. Here we go for ten points, then. What initial letter links the names of a coastal city of Morocco to the southwest of Rabat, the largest city of Benin, and the capital of the Republic of Guinea? Diamond, what artificial gem originated in Strasbourg in the 18th century and is named after the major river nearby? Corpus Christi Cherry. Rhinestone. Rhinestone is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on books by the Canadian author and campaigner Naomi Klein. In each case, identify the work from its subtitle. First, the 1999 book subtitled Taking Aim at the Brand Bullies. No logo. No logo. No logo. Correct. Second, the 2007 work subtitled The Rise of Disaster Capitalism. Shock Doctrine. Yes. Uh, shock Doctrine. Correct. And finally, the 2014 work subtitled Capitalism versus the Climate. Um, this is getting serious. Isn't it? No, it's like this is, this is not a drill, maybe? It's something like that. What do you think? Yeah, this. this is not a drill? Yeah, try it. This is not a drill? No, it is something like that. It's this changes everything. Oh, okay. Right, ten points for this. Who in 1968 became the first woman to win the International Prize for Painting at the Venice Biennale? She's regarded as a leading exponent of op art. Corpus Christi where? Riley. Bridget Riley is correct, yes. Stock of Wattleborough Parish Church strikes eight. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. What did you sing to... Come on, let's have an answer, please. Nominate Webb. Um, Grub Street. No, it's New Grub Street. Uh. Congratulations to you, 175. It was a great performance. You like to live dangerously, though, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. From Corpus Christi College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.